with the sodium acetate and water. Well, what do we get sodium acetate? Easy heat hand warmer. Those you can find easily online or some uh, outdoor stores have them. Well, let's get to it. So here's the used one. What I did it is open it and grab a piece out of it. I'm gonna put them in here, you know, just like that. So then I'm gonna cut it right here. And look, you see how careful I cut, cut it and now I'm gonna put it on this crystal and let's see what happens. How cool is this? It just crystallized right away and this thing is super hot and warm. I might have to adjust the camera because it doesn't fit anymore. Let's check it out. Oh, looks like it got on a package, inside the package, and the package gets crystallized. But how cool is that? Check this out. It's time to make one more of these ones. So, find the bubble, cut it very, very careful. And let's start pouring. Let's make, Let's make another tower right next to it. Oh! The bag got affected and sealed up. Very, very cool. How cool is that? So we're gonna get like this much of water, not too much. Huh? And then I, we have like the, this kind of thing. We got it from Amazon, but what you need is like this is like it screws on the bottom and we have this cork in here so we have a little hole over there we're gonna put it on top of this right here this experiment pretty much about pressure tied up pretty good and look you see water comes out from there because there's a little hole over there so water will come out water and then i have this thing right here and put it in a plug us here, pull it up, so it's gonna look like that. And then we're gonna push air with the air pump. And once there's too much like pressure build up, this fork just pops out like poof, and all this energy, the air with the water comes out that way, so it flies up like a rocket. <laughs> Let's try this again, man. That was too much fun. <laughs> Let's try this again, man. That was too much fun. Give it. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that go? Wow, look at it. It's right here, right beside Whoa. me. And look where I am. <laughs> How to strike matches on a window? If you don't have just matches, no bugs. How do you strike them? Let's check it out. By the way, do not try this at home, kids, especially adult supervision. Well, let's check it out. So if I'm in a survival situation and my box match is wet, all I have is dry matches, 
I would go up a window, find a window and put my finger like that and strike it as soon as possible. Boom! And it strikes. And this is normal matches. You see it strike on box matches. I'm gonna take one out and then I'm gonna grab it like that with my finger and put it on the head like that and boom! That easy. Again, this is how I do it. I grab it like that and a third finger like this. And just put it, my fingers on the wall like this and like strike it. Let's check it out. You gotta strike it fast. You see, for, sometimes it even can break. Boom. And you light it up. So this is very good survival tick, especially when you have matches and your box is ruined. You find a piece of window, you know, this. Just boom. And you light it up. You see, if you tie it like that, it's not gonna work. Your match is gonna break. You see? It broke in two pieces. So that's why we put two fingers this way and the third one right here. And when we we go this way, not that way, but this way, against the match. That how simple it is. Boom. So again, I'm gonna grab a match like that with two fingers, put it like that and strike it. You see it, like here? Boom, and it slides up. Very simple. You don't have to. After the practice, it's really easy. This experiment we're going to need sulfuric acid and sugar. I got powdered sugar, but I don't think it matters what kind of sugar. And a couple of tubes, you know. Let's get to it. First, we're gonna put powdered sugar. Then we're going to pour sulfuric acid in there. You see the reaction already starting, so what you're gonna what we're gonna do is mix it up. I think it got so hot that the glass even popped, but how crazy is that? So we're going to dry this again, but on a bigger level. So we're gonna pull the so thick acid in there and then we have to mix up the sugar Shit, that's a thick one right here How crazy is that? Just keep coming and coming That's pretty crazy. What do you guys gonna say in comments? What this looks like? Yeah, comments are gonna go crazy.